Human sexual attraction and behavior are the results of a highly complex combination of physiological factors, societal, and other psychological influences. The hypothalamus regulates overall libido. That is the sexual motivation. Under the influence of higher centers and the hormonal environment, well, in both the males and females, the sexual response cycle comprises of four phases. That are excitement, plateau, orgasm, and resolution, though the phases are same. But the time and intensity of these phases vary from person to person. You can memorize these phases by the mnemonic, explore, where, EX is for excitement, that is the first phase. PL is for plateau, that is the second phase. O refers to orgasm, that is the third phase. And RE is for resolution, that is the last phase. So, starting off with the sexual response in males first. What happens in the very first phase is that a sexual arousal arises either from a visual, mental, or a physical stimulation of the genitalia that activates the parasympathetic nerves in the sacral area of the spinal cord. These parasympathetic nerves then release nitric oxide, which causes the dilation of the arteries leading into the penis and fill them with blood. Arterial pressure in the erectile tissue compresses the veins to reduce blood flow away from the penis. The erectile tissues expand with blood and the penis swells and elongates to produce an erection. So, as to allow it to enter the female reproductive tract. Also, the heart rate, blood pressure and breathing accelerates in excitement phase. Next comes the plateau phase. Here, the intensity of the changes that begin during excitement phase increases. So, the heart rate, blood pressure and respirations remain elevated. In addition, the urethrosphincter contracts to prevent urine from mixing with semen. After this, male enters the third phase of sexual response, that is orgasm. Though it is the shortest, but the most intense one. And for this reason, it's also known as climax, as it involves the ejaculation of semen. When the sexual stimulus becomes extremely intense, the reflex centers of the spinal cord begin to emit sympathetic impulses. These impulses are passed to the genital organs to initiate emission. Well, the ejaculation of semen occurs in two stages. First one is emission, and the second one is expulsion. What happens in emission is that the contraction of the vas deferens and the ampulla occurs to propel sperm to the urethra. It also triggers the release of fluids from the prostate gland and seminal vesicles that force the sperm forward. All these fluids mix in the internal urethra with mucus already secreted by the bulbo-urethral glands to form the semen. This whole process is referred to as emission. Now, this semen present in the urethra activates somatic and sympathetic reflexes that result in the expulsion of semen from the urethra to the exterior. So this is what we call ejaculation. Now, after this, the body enters the last phase of the cycle. That is the resolution phase, as it is obvious from the name that the body returns back to the normal function. Immediately after orgasm, sympathetic signals cause the arteries in the penis to constrict, reducing blood flow. Muscles between the erectile tissues contract to squeeze blood 
out of the erectile tissues through veins, and the penis becomes flaccid. In males, there is a latent refractory period after ejaculation. What happens during this period is that the male is unable to achieve another orgasm. His body needs a recovery time. This period might increase depending on the age of an individual. So, that concludes our discussion of male sexual response. Now, let's find out what happens in the female sexual response. Well, the phases are the same as that in males as I already mentioned. So, the first phase is the excitement phase in females. Again, Desire is based on psychic stimulation and local sexual stimulation. That activates the parasympathetic nerves in the sacral area of the spinal cord. That release nitric oxide to dilate the erectile tissues. And increased blood flow to the genitals increases, causing the labia minora and majora to swell with blood. The clitoris becomes turgid with blood and swells. The breasts swell and the nipples become erect and harden. The uterus stands more erect. The vagina expands and elongates. And vaginal wall becomes purple from increased blood flow. If sexual stimulation is sufficiently intense, parasympathetic impulses cause the vestibular glands to secrete mucus into the vestibule. Thus, moistening and lubricating the surrounding tissues and lower vagina. This facilitates insertion of the penis. Of course, there's an increase in blood pressure and heart rate. After this, the next phase is the plateau phase. Here, there's a further increase in blood pressure, heart rate and muscle tone. The outer third of the vagina swells the clitoris becomes highly sensitive and retracts beneath its prepuce to avoid direct stimulation from the penis. Now, after this, when local sexual stimulation reaches maximum intensity, reflexes are initiated. That cause the female orgasm, also called the female climax. The muscles of the perineum and walls of both the uterus and uterine tubes contract rhythmically. This helps transport sperm through the female reproductive tract toward the upper uterine tubes. Also during this phase, the skin may appear red or flushed. Now, this intense pleasure is followed by the relaxation or what we call resolution. The body returns back to normal in this phase. The clitoris and nipples soften. The vagina and genitals return to normal size and color. And the uterus drops forward to its usual position. There is no refractory period after orgasm in females. Therefore, females can experience multiple orgasms during one sexual experience. That brings an end to our video, which went into great detail regarding the sexual differentiation, puberty, and the sexual responses in both males and females. Do let us know what you think by leaving a comment below. Keep visiting scadia.com for more videos with this much detail and information. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics, only on scadia.com.